This is a big, big day in cartooning. It's, it's huge and um, probably one of the biggest days in the almost 30 years that I've been cartooning. So I started thinking probably three or four days ago about how to do this. Lots of times in an election, I will wait till the returns actually come in and just let the adrenaline drive my drawing hand. In this particular case, I'm drawing with some confidence, perhaps influenced by my political bent, that Obama is going to be elected president. Hi there. Obama's face is interesting. I could see drawing him for a while. He's, he's got a terrific head. Big jaw, uh, dark eyebrows. Uh, I've had eight years of George Bush's ears, and a lot of the practice that I've had drawing ears is going to carry over to Barack Obama. We'll have new stuff to do, and I'm sure there'll be new scandals and new screw-ups, but I'm going to miss the, uh, the GOP crowd. It's been uh, a cornucopia of riches for cartoonists. If I were fair and balanced, I wouldn't be doing my job. Bias is part of the job description. I get very hungry when I draw. All right, I'm going to use Uncle Sam as my uh, stand-in for the country. He's, he's a cartoon reliable, uh, available for casting on a moment's notice. My intent here is not to make him look silly, but sort of dizzy with change. People still haven't quite absorbed what uh, a major change this really will be in the way the country sees itself, the way it sees its history, the, the, the racial scars. Change we can't quite yet, I, I'm, I'm working on the words. Um, all right, I'm gonna stand up now and look at it. This is me for tomorrow. You had shown me that. And yeah. I think uh, it's great. Um, do, you have a, do you have a Dewey Defeats Truman version? Uh, I do not. <laughs> there is no net underneath this high wire.